What's up guys, it's your boy Retro Reflex. I'm back playing FIFA a bit more consistently. And you know, I hopped back onto the game and I saw this Bruno Fernandes player of the month. And I wanted to do him, you know, I'm a United fan. It's been having a spectacular month before this Corona thing popped off. And you know, I just wanted to try him out. But now I remember there's a winter refresh card and this card is basically the exact same. Just a plus one in everything except pace on the player of the month. And why would I do all these SPCs on an untradeable player when I can get a player that's almost exactly the same? That's only, guys, 20, what is that, 26? No, my bad, 27 extra in-game stats for, for what? Like, for an untradeable player, there's no way in hell. Oh, and let's not forget the plus one finishing. Very key stat, very important. And that plus one is going to help a shooting so much. Oh, my goodness. And guys, price-wise, this card goes for 728k on the Xbox. And in comparison, I bought the Winter Refresh card for 589k when this card came out. I think he's about 610, 620. Yeah, only 100k difference, guys. But this is an untradeable player. And I don't know why EA didn't give him at least a 91. Giving him a 90 is it's not even worth going out to get this card, guys. So I figured let's go and get... Let's do a review on the Winter Refresh card because I did not get a chance to do this card. I'm sorry for that little rant, guys. It's just I don't understand how they can keep releasing shit content into this game. When there's another football game everyone can go to right now. Uh, everyone's at home because of Corona. You know, you got to release some good content now. This is your chance to redeem yourself a little bit at least. But whatever. Bruno Fernandez, 89 overall. First star skill moves, first star week for high, high work rates, which I didn't like too much. But 88 pace. 82 shooting. I did buy him with a hunter. Um, I think you need a hunter. Uh, I would say hunter or a finisher, sniper, one of those cards. Uh, they did add traits. You can look at the traits directly from the in-game menu, which is very nice. Uh, important traits to look at. Really only the flare shot and outside foot shot. Very, very good trait. Very happy he has that trait. And this guy feels like a Kevin De Bruyne type of cam. Um, I think the boy also has high high work rates if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he is pretty fast, 88 pace, hunter, he fell so much faster. I don't think the hunter is really necessary. For a cam, you don't need to be super fast. Um, I play him as a cam in a 3-5-2 formation and a 4-2-3-1. I liked him in both. His through balls are very good guys. One of the best passes on the game. Uh, he set up my strikers so much times with those through passes. He scores a nice free kick right here. Free kick accuracy is at 91. Um, shot power, guys. He has very powerful shots. His finesse shots are very, very good. Very accurate. Very powerful. You can bend those around the keeper and it has enough pace behind it to get to the back of the net. Finishing is a bit low at 82. That's why you need a chemistry spell to boost that up a bit. So when he is in the box, he can finish those chances. First, a weak foot. Both feet, very effective. Dribbling wise, he has a he does have low agility. That's why I think you do need a sniper to boost the finishing and the agility. That's probably the best chemistry style. He fell a bit sluggish at times. Uh, he like you. He looks pretty uh agile, but he's not super agile. I want I need my camps to have I think at least an eighty seven agility stat. I would say. Uh, at this point of the game, you need a high agility as, uh, as a cam so you can you know keep your opponent guessing. Uh, get passes to either of your strikers or wingers be able to you know switch direction very quickly because your cam is the focal point of your offense that's how I like to play at least so I think he does need that extra agility but other than that his dribbling stats are fantastic 92 ball control 90 dribbling very good dribbling past people 98 stamina he is not running out of stamina that's a very good stat to have he felt a bit weak he got pushed out the ball pretty easily a lot of the time but 71 strength is not bad at all for a cam. Uh, that's, you know, how tall is he? 5'10"? Yeah, that's not a bad strength for a cam of that size and stature. Um, and high, high, obviously for a cam, that's not ideal. I wish he had high medium. But it could be good for a CM position because he does have good defending stats. Nothing spectacular or amazing, but very good nonetheless, guys. This guy has good value for money. Only about 600k on the Xbox. Uh, you can trade them way better than the player of the month. Do not do the player of the month, guys. It's not worth it at all. I would not even bother, you know, doing that card. It's not worth your time and your coins. 
uh, just get the player of the month i mean yeah you get don't get the player of the month get the winter refresh card and then you know when you're done playing with them when you're done playing with them in weekend league or whatever objective you're doing or if you're just playing uh you can just sell them you know and then you have coins to buy some other players instead of wasting your money and time putting it all into the 90 and then you're stuck with them forever and he'll probably get another card right they're definitely gonna give him another card because of the hype uh surrounding him uh so you know i definitely would just stay away it's not worth your time and effort uh just get this card definitely recommend a uh, very good card and yeah that's it for the review guys i hope you guys did enjoy i'm gonna give him a 94 out of 100 he's a very fun player to use very good uh, I like, you know, he's sick in real life, so it's nice to have, for him to have a very nice card with good pace. Stay away from the player of the month. Please do not do that card. I'm giving that card a 0 out of 100. That card is trash. Uh, just get this card. Screw EA on in the weak content. Get this card. Um, and yeah, just get this card. Very good cam. Good pace. Like I said, good shooting. Finishing is a bit weak, but you can re remedy that with a chemistry style. Same goes for the agility, a bit low, but you can up that with a chemistry style. Passing is elite, uh, stamina is elite, defending stats are above average, so you can put him as a CM. I wouldn't say CDM, uh, it's a bit, like I said, a bit weak, a bit too short, not super, su I, I don't know, I would, nah, I would just say CM. Uh, CDM, is, I don't think he has enough defensive stats for that, interceptions aren't that high, uh, heading, not going to win any headers. Um, I would say play him as CM or as a cam or even a striker I would say but he won't be he might be a good false nine but yeah guys that's it for the review thank you so much for watching please leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe if you want to see more FIFA content I'm going to be playing Animal Crossing in a little bit I'm hyped about that game I hope you guys enjoy that I think I'm just going to upload like an hour two hour long parts so just so if you guys want to watch it you know you don't get bombarded with videos it's all there in one video and yeah, guys, I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Be safe. Stay healthy. Peace.